So what is the Hay Foundation? What do you know what's the Hay Foundation? Like what is it about? Yes. Um, so the Hay Foundation is a mental health foundation and H-A-Y is a spelling and that stands for how are you? Okay, so why did you decide to go into mental health? Um, that decision came quite sudden, if I must say. <laughs> so I think three years ago, I got a story and it was based on a lady who was depressed and ended up committing suicide. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to produce that story. And then I think a year after, on campus whilst I was only gone, Suicide became rampant, and also then we came in the then suicide also became rampant. So then I felt very bad. I was thinking that, oh, I needed to have produced produce this movie because I felt like it was um, a calling for me to have done that, and that would have made people understand that they needed to pay more attention to like your family members, your friends, and then we actually need to show love and all that. But that didn't happen, and I lived with the regrets. And so I think. Two years after that, I decided to do a photo series that was based on um, depression and suicide. And thankfully, that was able that was that that rolled out successfully. And then I thought to myself that this is something I'm really really passionate about, and just doing a photo series was not enough. So I called a couple of my friends and I spoke to them. I found out would they be interested? Like, what do they think about it? And we're like, that's a really really cool idea. And then we said, why don't then we go into full mental health advocacy? And Hey Foundation came. All right. So, what are your goals, aspirations? Like, what do you aim to achieve as the founder of Hey Foundation? I think personally. I, or as, as Hay Foundation, I hope that we'll be able to spread the awareness of mental health issues in Africa and also we hope that we will be able to change the narratives that people have regarding mental health issues. We really, really hope to create an environment where people feel okay to be vulnerable and just that, that element of support that we believe is what people need right now and then which goes back to our name which is how are you and with the idea of how are you how are you being that we really want to know how you are doing we come to realize that these days when people say how are you it's just a word that is true it's more like a greeting instead of actually finding out how are you so as hey foundation we really want to find out how you are doing okay so do you have any personal experience with mental health? Like, has anything happened to you? Like in my life? Yes, in your life that mm -hmm. has related to, you know, things that have to do with mental health? Um, yeah, I have. Um, I think whilst I was in high school, I remember that I was always being told that you fret a lot. And it was something that was always said to me, like, why are you fretting? Why are you always panicking? Like, why it was so bad and also another thing was mood swings i i think i still do have mood swings mood swings was something that my friends then just could not understand and i remember i would always be told don't come don't follow me if you know you are going to be doing that your mood swings nonsense and as at then i had no i think i had little knowledge about mental health but then i knew that there was a part of me that felt bad when and those words were said to me but then i really had no idea but then going forward and just being on this journey of mental health advocacy studying doing more studies i came to understand that those were just those were some of the mental health distresses that people go through and being there and understanding how i felt and it's easier for me to actually relate to other people and be much more compassionate much more passionate about um, these things and then just being empathetic towards people and also I currently deal with um, panic attacks and, and some form of anxiety disorder and just allowing myself to um, go through therapy has really been helpful and I see no shame in it and that's why today I can sit here and talk freely about 
my struggles with my, my, my mental health because I want to encourage people to be able to speak up about these things and then I believe that the more we speak up the more we get more solutions our systems will work better we would have rehabs people will be encouraged to study psychology and they would actually have jobs waiting for them okay so what are your closing words um, I just like to encourage anyone who's going through a hard time people who are going through um, if you're going through any form of mental health distress if you are just having a hard time with life and you feel like you really don't have anyone to speak to or you feel like you are in a close place or in a dark place please 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 do well to give us a shout out our IG would be in the description I believe below and it's going to hey foundation Africa send us a DM if you don't want us to know who you are that's perfectly fine you could create an anonymous page, send us a DM, and we have people readily available to speak to you and provide you with support. We have um, clinical psychologists in our networks, we have massage therapies, and we have people readily available to provide you with support. All you need to do is just reach out to us at the Hay Foundation Africa, and we will gladly, gladly provide you our support. And also, to anyone who feels like this is something that you would like to be a part of. Do us send us a DM, do us do us send us an email and we and you would like to be part of us, you would like to volunteer, please please do well to reach out to us and we would definitely, definitely, definitely add it to our network. Thank you guys very, very, very much.